Welcome to this video on detecting BitTorrent activity using InfoHash searches. My name is Darren Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netport.com. So before we go into what's involved in detecting BitTorrent activity on your network, I want to take a look at first at what is involved in uploading content into a peer-to-peer -peer or BitTorrent network. So first thing I'm going to go here, I've got a BitTorrent client installed in my system, and I'm going to go File, Create a New Torrent. Click on Add File. And I've got a video file here, brand new film, recorded 2011. Just click on open. Tracker information is already there. And just hit create and save as. So I'm going to save off this torrent file and then close. So we're now starting to see this particular movie. And by seeding the movie, it means that anybody else out there who searches for this film or who browses and comes across this film can start downloading, downloading it. So already here, I can see that 18 peers have connected and we're starting to upload data. Now it's very tiny amounts at the moment, but there are 18 peers connected and data will start to be sent to, the, to those users. No seeds at the moment, I'm the only one with a copy of this film, but in time, the number of seeds will increase from one and upwards. And as soon as that starts to happen, I can actually shut down my own laptop because there's other people out there with a full version of this film. So we scroll across here again to the left and the crucial piece of information down here at the bottom when it comes to detecting this activity on your network and finding out who's downloading what is this hash number, this hash um, string here. So this is the actual MD5 of the film. Don't really need to understand how it was created or what it means, but it's every single video or music album within the BitTorrent networks has got a unique hash uh, text string. So when it comes to detecting this, this is a crucial piece of information. And if you get a notification in the post from a somebody to say that somebody on your network uploaded or downloaded a film, they usually will quote the hash of that particular film and ask you to investigate the issue. So let's just scroll across here. We still have those 18 peers connected and no data is moving up and down at the moment, but it's, it's my film is there now and it is being shared. So let's take a look at one of these uh, notices that people get in the post requesting them to investigate who is uploading or downloading illegal material on their network. We're now looking at a sample Digital Millennium Copyright Act notice or DMCA notice. So we scroll down through and sometimes they arrive in XML format, sometimes they arrive in the in the mail. So we got an introduction here, we got some background information, some contact information. But towards the bottom of this page, we got the important stuff. We've got the infringing work. So in this case here, it's the wire TV program. Time this was detected being uploaded or downloaded on the network. We got an IP address. Now this may be your external IP address, the IP address your firewall. The actual client responsible may have local IP address in your network, so this may not be useful information. IP port, bit turn protocol. But this is the important piece of information here. This is probably the most thing we can take from this notice, and that is the InfoHash text string here. So this is the unique identifier for this, in this case, TV program, The Wire. So we need to copy and paste that and do our search within our uh, internet monitoring system. Further down, we've got again a piece of that information here. Again, it's the uh, the wires, the infringing mark, and we've got the info hash. So we basically we need to copy this out of this document here and take a look at how we can search for that now on our network. Now I'm going to do a search for that particular info hash using the Netfort Langardian system. Now you can download this system today. You go to www.netfort.com. You can get a free trial there today. Install the software, and the one, the only part you need to monitor on your network is your internet gateway or your firewall connection. So you need to do a port mirror or span of all traffic going in and out of your internet gateway or to and from your firewall. Once up and running, you will get instant dashboards like this showing you network activity, and you've got reporting here on the left if you want to look at security, maybe bandwidth on your network. But I'm, today I'm really only interested in looking at BitTorrent activity, so I'm going to. Go to the right reports, it's going to go to the report finder and just type in hash, which shows these info hash reports. So the second one is the one I'm looking for here. You may go search for a specific one. So for example, let's just copy this one here again. Just 
search for very particular info hash on your network. So you can take that straight from the notice you just copied from here, take it to Langarnian, search for it, and then we get the source of this. So we've got the date and time of the event, the tracker and info hash. So if you click on that here, that'll resolve to whatever is being downloaded here. So in this case, somebody's downloading Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So let's go back one here. And we also have the option here to find out what username is associated with that. So we want to get the full picture. We're, we're doing in a way here, we're doing forensics. We've got a piece of evidence, which is somebody has been downloading a copyrighted film. And we track back to that date and time on our network. This particular uh, notification here was back in 2008. So we go back here to our Langardian system. We could select that particular time period here by just scrolling down through the times and selecting that particular time on the network and looking at what activity do we have associated with that info hash at that time. And this network, I'm just looking at 24 hours. In this case here, Fred Dandy here, who's on our network, was the user who was logged on to this client here. And this particular individual here is responsible for downloading, in this case, nothing major, it's just Red Hat Linux from the, from the internet. And we have the date and time of the events as well. Let's go back and take a look at another one of those. We'll go back two screens here. We've got a second one here on our network. It's probably nothing major. In this case here, it's Ubuntu Studio. Let's get the username for both of those events. So actually Peter Erwin here was responsible for that other download of via the BitTorrent networks of Ubuntu Studio. So with your Langardian system, you can use this info hash or info hash search report to track back who's downloading data via BitTorrent networks, get their username, get the clients they've used, get the exact date and time that this occurred. So that's it for this particular video on searching for info hash activity 